I would say no. Yeah. Uh, if you care about the characters well, as you as anything, if you care about your pet or your uh, whatever it is, once it's taken away, it's not gonna be so satisfying. You know, even a right. good book, even if it ends well, right. I miss that book. Yeah. You know, and so I think it's just innate in our human nature to long for something we we cared about that's been taken away. So, no. <laughs> right. I wonder if, um, you know, looking back on great, great TV, um, if have there been any finales that have stood out, Sopranos or Seinfeld or things that you thought, like, now that your series is ending of... I have to defer to you again. <laughs> <laughs> I but I don't watch TV much either. Much, so I, but I don't uh, have one. A great finale. <laughs> like, you know, these iconic... Uh, Mash. Mash. Yes. Mash was quite oh, a finale. Oh, Growing Pains. I oh, right. I That's, I forgot. That was the last finale I saw on television, <laughs> and Growing I pain? cried my heart out. Did you? Oh, my yes, goodness. Yes, I was in love with Kurt Cameron. I wonder if um, you could talk about what kind of closure you'd like your characters to see, ideally. Um. Hmm. Um, I feel like my character's gotten a lot of closure over the last couple seasons because the story with Kate has moved very quickly towards the redemption that I think all the characters are moving towards, whereas there's a lot of other characters that are still very open-ended. Um, Naveen's character, Saeed, and Terry's character, Locke, and um, even Josh's character at this point, um, you're sort of at an impasse. There's a, a sort mm -hmm. of an open end. Right. Um, for me, I feel like Kate in this season is sort of the standard of normacy because she's kind of reached redemption and now she's like holding the house down because everyone else is losing their minds. Yeah.